Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one we're going to be doing the voice cancellation trick that we just did in Ableton Live, but this time we're going to be doing it inside of Cubase 5. And you can do this in Cubase um, SX3 as well, or Cubase 4. Um, to do this, again, we just need something with a, a centered vocal and uh, not pan to the left and right with the vocals. And what will happen is we'll take the left channel, take the right channel, split them, and then invert the, the phase of one of those channels. And if we just drag in a audio clip into Cubase, let's make an audio track first. So if we go and drag our clip and drop it in, we're going to get the option here to copy to working directory, which we want to do that. And then the split channels is the other thing you want to tick, and this will split it down left and right. So we've got our left channel on the, at the top and then our right channel. Um, we just need to make sure this is on a mono track. So if we add another audio track, add a mono track. And then make sure they're both at the same point. Okay, so all we need to do now is invert the phase of one of these channels. And to do that, if you go up to the extended controls here at the top left on one of the channels, Go over to the right and we've got this circle with the line diagonally through it. And this is just the phase control. So if we turn this on while it's playing back. You can hear there that it cancels out that middle vocal out of the center of the track. Um, so that's how you do it in Cubase 5. Um, if you've already got a track, import it into your project. So I'll just drop in a stereo one here. And we'll copy it and we won't split the channels. So we've got it here, and it's on stereo. To get from this point to splitting it down in your track, all you need to do is highlight across the part that you want to do, solo that track, and then go up to File, and go to Export and Audio Mix Down. And then just select your directory that you've got um, your project saved to. And then down at the bottom here, I want to click on the Split Channels, and then import it back into the pool and the uh, and on to an audio track as well. Click export and we'll just we'll get this option up here. Uh, asks you want to copy it to your working directory, which we do. And that's it. Just click close and then you've got you see here down at the bottom we've got two new files which will be our left and right split down. And again you just go in, invert the phase of one of them. And then you get that uh, cancellation effect working in there as well. Okay, so I hope this tech tip helps you out, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.